Good evening, my dear J2025 aspirants. As you are all preparing and gearing up for all different kinds of examinations and giving even the private entrance examinations, this is one such examination which every serious aspirant must give. Now, you might have heard about NEST or NISER. Well, if you haven't, I will just give you a brief about it. Now, NISER, it's a very prestigious institute. You can go to the nestexam.in website. Quickly, it will talk about the NEST exam, but before that, what about NISER? NISER is in Bhuvneshwar. It's a very, very good institute, specifically more on the research and development side. And many students from NISER, they usually go into BARC, which is Baba Atomic Research Center, or DRDO, which is Defense Research and Development Organization for the Military and the Armed Forces. And there are many students who directly go to MIT, Stanford, these are the top like 5-10 universities in the world. Okay, and you might have heard about MIT, Stanford. So, for PG courses, many times students go abroad also. Do not expect placements because this is a pure research organization. Although, you can get placed in DRDO, BARC kind of institutions, government institutions. Usually, students who go here are research oriented, just like IISC or ISER. Right? I hope you know these institutes. If you are a serious GIS, you would have heard about it. So, NISER gives you five-year MSc integrated programs in biological, chemical, mathematical and physical sciences. So, BSc degree and MSc degree, it's a dual degree that you will get five years integrated completely and you can do majors, in, uh, a major subject uh, and a minor subject also in biology, chemistry, computer science, mathematics or physics. So, let's say I am a physics major, meaning my degree is in MSc physics. But then I am like, no, no, along with MSc physics, I want a second degree also. I can take a minor degree, maybe in computer science or maybe I want, I want to do biology. So, biology, minor degree also I can take. So, it's like a dual degree. Apart from BSc, MSc, another degree. So, you can think of as if you are getting like three degrees all in all, roughly speaking. Okay. Now, the degrees will be awarded by Homi Baba National Institute, which is a deemed university with the Department of Atomic Energy. So, you can see a lot of obviously government involvement over here. All right. So, Baba Atomic Research Center, one of the most famous centers for atomic research in the country in Navi Mumbai. So, that will be awarding you the uh, certificate, the degree, etc. And by the way, Homi Baba Institute is also involved in the Olympiads. So, great deal of involvement out there. So, you can understand the level of students, the faculty, the value of the certificate. So, just to give you a sense of idea. Now, in order to get into Nizer, Bhubaneswar and uh, basically about the UMDA, CBS, Mumbai, the Department of Atomic Energy, the exam that you need to give is the NEST exam, which is your National Entrance Screening Test, which is a test for students seeking admission in Nizer, Bhubaneswar and University of Mumbai Department of Atomic Energy Center for Excellence in Basic Science, basically the Atomic Energy School or the Nizer Institute, either of them, you have to give the NEST 2025 examination. Now, what are the important dates? Why am I telling you this? Very important. The application has opened long time back, but it is closing very soon, 9th of May. Now, in the hurry burry of all this J main second attempt, advance, bit side, this, that, blah, 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 you might have forgotten or have not even bothered about this exam. So, please give this entrance examination if you are serious about research, you have the aptitude for research, you are very serious about any of the pure sciences, you want a dual degree. Computer science is also there. Computer science minor degree is also there. Okay, so keep that in mind. 9th of May, the correction windows are going to open up later on. Mock tests will be available on 16th of May. Admit card 2nd June. Exam is on basically 22nd June. It's next month after your advanced examination. Now, what is the eligibility criteria? Candidates who have cleared their 12th examination in 2023, 2024, or who have given the exam this year. So, two-year drop is okay, irrespective of the category and age will be considered. 60% marks in class 12th, and for SC, SC candidates, it's 55%. So, at least it is not 75%, and if you're a second-year drop student, you're still eligible, and you should get a position in any ST 2025 
merit list. Is that okay? There is no upper age limit as such. But you should have given the examination in 23, 24 or 25. Is that okay? Hello Dinesh, hi Arjir, Chintu, welcome. Guys, this is a specific video for NEST. So let's not dilute it by talking about other exams now. Okay, what are the fees? For females, it's 700. For SCST and uh, for uh, students who have some disability, 700 again. Male and other applicants, 1400. Okay, how to apply online? The uh, things are directly there over here only. If you go to the main website, new registration, login, everything is there. Okay, it's mentioned. So you can just go through this entire website, how to apply. If you click on it, you can just click on uh, tech support in case you get stuck. Everything is there. Okay, it will take around 20 to 30 minutes. Now the brochure, syllabus, everything is there over here. Most of the syllabus is the revised NCRT syllabus. So you can still check it out for biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics. Yes, there is biology, but you need not have to give biology. I'll tell you why. Now, if you open the brochure, you can see what is the nature of the question paper. The question paper contains of four sections, MCQ type. Each section is of 60 marks. Each section is of 60 marks, four sections. So six fours are 24, so 240 marks. And they will contain subject specific questions from biology, chemistry, maths and physics. I know you might, mood might have turned off listening to the word biology because most of you will be PCM students or even if you are PCMB, bio might not be strong. Don't worry, I'll tell you why. There is a good news coming. Each section will have 20 questions with, uh, with exactly one correct answer. Marking a correct answer will fetch 3 marks. So 20 questions, each question 3 marks, 23 is a 60. So each subject 20 questions and each question 3 marks, so 60 marks per subject. So 20 questions in physics, 20 questions in chemistry, 20 questions in biology, 20 questions in mathematics. Totally 80 questions. But there is negative marking also, negative 1 marks in case you answer it incorrectly. And if you don't answer, no marks will be deducted. Now, it is in the interest of the students that you attempt all the sections. The merit list will be prepared using best three of the four sections. See, this is the most important line, best three scores. So, if you are equally strong in biology and maths, then that will be a tough choice. You will have to probably attempt both. But if you know biology is not your cup of tea or not studied, no issues. Just attempt physics, chemistry and maths. The best of the Three will be considered out of the four subjects. So if you have just attended physics, chemistry, maths, biology is not even going to be considered. So you will have to be strong in all the three, physics, chemistry and maths. Unless you want to be strong in biology, then you might afford to lose some marks somewhere in other section. Anyways, the best of the three will be considered. That is the scores out of 180 marks will be considered, not 240. Although the paper will be for 240, the actual marks that will be considered will be out of 180. The next question papers of the last few years are there on the website. Language will be Hindi or English. Any confusion, you can check the FAQs, everything. Answering the questions, it is CBT mode. Applications, uh, deadline, everything is there. And all the necessary important information. See, the number of seats available is also mentioned in NISER for general category 101 in, in, in the... UMDA CEBS, yes, so that's 23. So you can see around 257. So barely 250 seats are there. This is just like your, you know, UGWE entrance or IIT entrance or, you know, all these top level, top notch institutes. But if you think about it, 200 seats, 300 seats, 200 seats, 300 seats in all these prestigious triple ITs or, you know, ISERs or IISTs or, you know, uh, even nicer for that matter. So it adds up to be a decent number. So don't feel bad. Oh, I'm not in the top 200. No, it's not necessary. All the top 200 will go because there are many colleges. Many students will choose different branches, different colleges. So your chance might be there even if you are in the thousands of rank. Okay. Uh, so keep this in mind. The scoring system, how they will be uh, uh, giving the cutoffs, everything is given over here. So what's the cutoff? Everything is being given right over here. So my advice is please go through the entire brochure. Go to this website nestexam.in and please try to fill up the form only if you are serious. If you are not serious, don't waste your money. Okay. So that was an important update. It's a very good backup examination in case you are serious about research, development, 
and you have that kind of aptitude. Now, for more such information, make sure you are tuned in onto the Vedantu J English channel. And if you want us to conduct sessions related to NEST, the PYQs, or maybe sir model papers, please let us know in the comments below. Yes, sir, we need model papers for the NEST exam after a few days because now it is not so urgent. Your J advance and other exams are there. So if you want us to do that, please let us know right now in the comment section. We will definitely conduct it very soon. Okay. And keep uh, yourself updated by subscribing to the channel. And please show your support by liking this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a great time.